These are devotions for people at a social distance. I've been thinking, obviously, I think we all have about uh, where we are in, in COVID-19 and particularly in the face of the, the present Omicron crisis and what's going on. And uh, there was a scripture that really spoke to me uh, today. Uh, there, the leader of the Ontario Science Table a couple days ago came out and made uh, a statement that really got a lot of headlines. He says, the idea that Omicron, the Omicron variant, is mild is a myth. And that made the, the headlines. And, and the idea was that, and, and that, you know, that's what everyone talked about. This is a myth that it is mild, which, of course, people naturally understood to mean it's not mild. We know it's not mild. It is simply untrue that it is mild. And actually, that's not if you look at the, read the full article, that's maybe what the headline said. That's not what the article said. He said, we don't know. True enough. We has not been firmly established that is mild. Fair enough. That does not mean that it is a myth that it is mild. And he also said, and, and I absolutely agree, we should not be making public policy based on wishful thinking. True enough. Um, so yes, absolutely. In the face of Omicron, there are measures that need to be taken, public policy measures. Uh, yeah, we all need to do whatever we can to, to slow the spread because yeah, this is going to spread everywhere and uh, you know we need to make it as manageable as possible. We need to get our, our vaccines, we need to get our boosters uh, you know, as soon as we're able to do so. Absolutely. Uh, the, the rhetoric though is about panic. This is really scary. And after being scared for 18, 19 months, uh, people are, I don't think, going to react very well to this idea of, well, we need to panic in the face of this. Um, the reality is, if it is spreading as quickly as they say it's spreading, it's going to spread, which means we're probably all going to get it, right? I mean, short of... Uh, you know, becoming a hermit and totally being cut off from society, we're all going to get it. Um, for good or ill, that's going to be for a, a rough few weeks. Absolutely. No question. And there, there are certainly huge policy issues around that, around, um, you know, who, <laughs> how we're going to manage that with our healthcare system, with all its, its flaws and problems, how we can uh, do whatever we can to roll out things like vaccines. Uh, really important issues. Those are public policy issues. Uh, the the public policy needs to work very hard. Do we need to panic about that? I don't think that's really going to help anything. Yes, uh, we need to act as responsibly as we can. I think the idea that people will act more responsibly because you scare them, that is a myth. That is the myth that we're going to scare people into doing the right thing. It doesn't work like that. And as we have learned over the last 18 months, uh, scaring people does have sometimes the opposite effect because uh, when you scare them and it's not as bad as it turns out, well, that's how you create things like anti-vaxxers, right? So um, this is the passage that spoke to me today. Uh, Micah chapter 4, 9 to 10. Now, why do you cry aloud? Is there no king in you? Has your counselor perished? The pangs have seized you like a woman in labor. Writhe and groan, O daughter of Zion, like a woman in labor. Um, so he's saying, you guys, you're really, really overreacting here. Why are you overreacting? Well, it's because maybe you don't have anyone to give you any guidance or leadership. It kind of feels like where we are, right? People are overreacting because we don't have confidence in our leaders. Absolutely. Uh, but you shall go forth from the city and camp in the open country. You shall go to Babylon. It's going to happen. <laughs> You're going to get Omicron. Uh, there the Lord will redeem you from the hand of your enemies. God will be with us. Yeah, there's going to be a few rough, really rough weeks. Uh, it's going to be hard. But I actually really do believe we're going to get through this. And I really believe uh, that most of us, the, the abundant majority of our, us, are not going to be uh, suffer uh, from the sickness. We may suffer from some of the measures. Um, yeah, we're going to have to put up with a lot the next little while. Uh, yeah, we should be prudent. Yeah, we should get the shots uh, when we're able to get them. And yeah, maybe wear a mask and keep the distance. But honestly, getting ramped up with fear is not 
helping doesn't help. I think that's the myth. Um, yeah, be responsible, get vaccinated, get bo boosted uh, when you're able to do so, uh, wear your mask, keep a distance. Uh, let's not uh, get overwhelmed with fear, though. God is with us. That's sort of where I am today, me and Micah, Lord our God. Uh, yeah, there's some scary things coming, but let us not be consumed by fear. Let us be responsible. Let us be wise. Let us do the right thing. Let's not uh, give in to panic. Amen.